Hello, I'm going to talk about the concept of density. Here we see the definition of density. Density is equal to the mass divided by the volume which that mass occupies. This is the mass density, mass divided by volume. Here's the equation. Density equals m divided by v, or mass divided by volume. For example, we might have a volume of one cubic centimeter that might be shaped like this. One centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter is one cubic centimeter. Or we might have uh, that volume of one cubic centimeter in a different shape. Doesn't really matter what the shape is. The density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. To illustrate that, let me take a number of different objects here. For example, uh, if I have a lead cylinder, I want to measure the mass of that lead cylinder. The mass of that lead cylinder is 330 grams, approximately. Now if I take an aluminum cylinder that has essentially the same volume as the lead cylinder, almost the same volume, we'll assume it's the same, and we find that that aluminum cylinder has a mass of only 100 grams. So here we have two cylinders. They have the same volume, but different masses. We see if the volume is the same and the mass is greater, the density will be greater. The density of lead is greater than the density of aluminum. Now if we take a lead cylinder of a different shape and an aluminum cylinder, these two cylinders, as is the case with all cylinders in this box, these all have the same mass. I can illustrate that by hanging it on another type of a weighing scale. This is just a spring here. And I'll let the uh, stretch of that spring be a measure of the mass of that object. All we're interested in here is showing that they each have the same mass. So they should stretch the spring to the same uh, length. So here we see that the lead cylinder and in this case the aluminum cylinder, those cylinders have common mass. They have each has the a mass proportional to the stretch of that spring. So we notice there that the mass of each cylinder is the same, but the volumes are different. The one with a large volume has a small density. The one with a small volume has a greater density. Density is equal to the ratio of the mass to the volume. Here I have a number of cylinders. These are all brass. They all have the same density. If I choose this one, for example, and compare it to, uh, say, uh, this one. This has a mass of 100 grams. This one has, th I'm sorry, this has a mass of 1,000 grams. This is a kilogram, 1,000 grams. This has a mass of 10 grams. This one is 100 times as massive as this one. So this has a mass of 1,000 grams. This has a mass of 10 grams, but they both have exactly the same density. Here we see that the density is the ratio of the mass to the volume. When the mass and volume have the same ratio, mass divided by volume is the same number, then the density will be the same. So where we have, where we have a large mass, we have a large volume. We have a small mass, we have a small volume. But the ratio of the mass to the volume is the same. And all brass if it's uh, made the same way with the same chemical composition, brass will have a common density equal to the ratio of the mass to the volume. Now, let's talk about the density of water. We note here that water has a density of one gram per cubic centimeter. That's true whatever the shape of the container uh, the water finds itself in. For example, here I have uh, a couple of beakers and there's 100 uh, cubic centimeters in this beaker and 100 cubic centimeters in this beaker. We want to measure the mass of 100 cubic centimeters of water. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add 100 cubic centimeters of, this, uh, of water to this and see if indeed that has a mass of 100 grams. So to do that, I will set a 100 gram mass over on this side of the scale. And then I'll add water in two stages. First, I'll put in 50 grams of water. 
And then I'll take this syringe, which has previously been loaded to 50 cubic centimeters. I put in 50 cubic centimeters of water. I'm assuming it was 50 grams. So I put in 50 cubic centimeters of water. Now I have 150 cubic centimeters, and I'm going to add another 50 cubic centimeters and see if we can bring that to a balance. And there we go. So I've added uh, 100 cubic centimeters to this side. This has 200 cubic centimeters. This has 100 cubic centimeters. This has an additional 100 grams to balance it, illustrating that water has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter, or 100 grams per 100 cubic centimeters. Or if we take a look at this large uh, beaker here, this is 1 liter of water, or 1,000 cubic centimeters, so it should have a mass of 1,000 grams or one kilogram. If we compare that to uh, brass here, for example, here's 1,000 grams or one kilogram of brass, and notice how their volumes are quite a bit different. The water has a greater volume, the brass has less volume. Again, where the masses are the same, if the volume is greater, the density is less. If the volume is less, the density is greater. The volume of the brass is less than the volume of water. Brass has a greater density than water. Concept of density.